What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back with the 73 Plymouth Satellite, also known as the Road Runner Tribute. I do lots of air quotes on this one. <laughs> tribute car. Look at her, guys. There she is. I know, I get a lot of people telling me, don't park in the grass. Don't do it. Well, last time I checked, I'm the one that pays the mortgage and I pay the property taxes. So if I wanna park in the grass, I'll park in the grass. That's my God-given right. <laughs> we got the Porsche Panamera here. Uh, there'll be a video on this soon. I had an accident in it. Uh, that sucks. Uh, but anyway, we'll get back to that. I just wanted to make a quick video about the, the Plymouth satellite. She is going back up for auction. It went through Oklahoma City and the auction ended yesterday. It only got up to $8,100. Uh, that's crazy to me because I bought this car <laughs> for 13 out the door. Okay, probably like 11.5 was my winning bid. 11.5, 13 out the door before I put wheels and tires on it, the alternator, getting it back here. I put a lot into this car. I've probably got over 15,000 into this thing. So to see it only go for eight grand, that's that's a little crazy to me a little crazy i expected the high bid to at least reach 10 and i was hoping for around 13. it's a great car it runs and drives solid you can fire this thing up and it will start every single time there's a couple things i didn't get to finish like the steering wheel is still the satellite steering wheel i didn't get to finish it but it has windshield wipers now it looks good in and out it's got some hail damage and few minor issues here and there but nothing serious like I think I've proven that you can get in this car and you can drive it halfway across the country and it'll make it let's go ahead and fire it up real quick damn thing starts first try every try like this this thing is solid it may not be the biggest baddest engine but the old 318 man pump it twice right on cue man now give her a little tap. Listen to that. Listen to that. Oh, my spider webs. <laughs> it's been so long since I've driven this car. We got spider webs growing on the back of it. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Oh, it smells good. That smells real good eight grand i'll tell you this right now guys not gonna happen not gonna happen i won't let this car go for eight grand i won't i'll hold it i'll keep it forever and ever i'll take it down to ar headquarters and i'll put it in the shop and i'll just let it sit before i let a car like this go for eight thousand dollars not a chance in hell man not a chance in hell clean title you got your build sticker right here it's got its vin numbers <laughs> and it drove all the way from chicago back here to my house not a chance i'm gonna let this car go for eight thousand dollars but i'm making this video because if you're interested look how smooth it runs it, ridiculous i'm making the video because if you're interested in it and you missed it it's going back up for auction but i'm not putting it in oklahoma city this time i talked to copart and i said man what is the nearest lot that this car would do well at and they told me dallas was probably the best place to send it but if it goes to dallas i have to take it there copart doesn't take it for me i've got to get it down to dallas which means i either drive it to dallas or i throw it on the trailer and we haul her down to dallas but if this video is up if you're seeing it right now below the video is a link it's going to take you to copart it's going to take you straight to this car if you've ever wanted something that's reliable, old, gets looks everywhere you go, but it's cheap, don't miss this one because this is it. This is it. Yes, it's got hail damage. You can fix it. You can try to get a PDR person to fix it, whatever. Almost everything that needed done to this car has been done. And she is a solid running and driving vehicle that you can be proud to put in your driveway. Or if you're like me, you can park it in your grass because you're such a rebel. 
<laughs> what do you think of her guys i'm sorry eight grand i couldn't do it eight grand i couldn't do it i think i think i'm gonna put a reserve on it uh, i'll do a buy it now of 15 and i'll put a reserve on it of probably 12 or 13 it's worth every damn penny it is it's worth every damn penny guys drop your comments below tell me what you think i'm going to get out of here just a quick video to let you know i still have the 73 road runner all right i still have her she's still here she still gets up runs drives just like she's supposed to but i got to get rid of her guys i got more cars coming look at this i got wheels and tires look at all this in the back here look at this there's too much i got too much going on guys i got too much going on and i got way too much money going out <laughs> we gotta get a little money coming in so this one's got to go down the road mainly because we are doing a lot of work coming up to the chevelle the chevelle ss is going to have the engine pulled the transmission pulled <laughs> we got a lot in fact that's what those packages over there those are all for uh the engine and I got a, a transmission on its way. So we got a lot of work to do, a lot of money going out, and I need to recoup some of it by selling this so that I can have the Chevelle ready for Power Tour. That's right, we're doing Power Tour this year, my first time doing it, and I fully intend on doing it in a 69 Chevelle SS. Thank you so much, I love the, uh, the Air Force there. <laughs> I move a little ways out from the city, and we still get air traffic out here, it's crazy. All right, I want to do power tour in the 69 Chevelle SS that runs at about 3,500 RPM at 75 miles an hour, gets nine miles a gallon. That's the plan. If you don't know what power tour is, just Google it. Look up Hot Rod Power Tour. Go check it out. Maybe I'll run into some of you down there. It starts June 13th, and I'm supposed to be doing this with Monkey Wrench Mike. So it should be a lot of fun. It's a Monkey Wrench Mike and I will have about a 2,500 mile journey ahead of us in a 69 Chevelle. It should be a lot of fun and I'm looking forward to bringing you those videos. I think we'll be hanging out with Lunar Outlaws Garage as well. I'm excited and I'm ready. But before we can get to all of that, we got to sell this car because I gotta come up with the money to pay for all the stuff the Chevelle needs. I'm gonna get out of here, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, not currently subscribed, and also remember down below the video is a direct link to this beautiful purple nurple the 1973 Plymouth Satellite. See y'all later.